Alrighty folks. So in the back we have drilled through the chassis, floor pan, whatever you want to call it, and we've put our four 10 millimeter studs, two on each side, down through the floor pan. So we got another two going on here. They're all in, they're going through the floor. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? You're thinking, no much point doing that because there's no real strength in the floor pan. But we have a plan for the floor pans. No, this isn't a Christmas tree. What you're seeing here are um, the washers that we're going to use on the other side of those bolts that you saw going in there. They're basically big pieces of uh, 50 by 10 millimeter flat steel. I'm just painting up here now with some of this, um, some of this tough paint, quick drying, durable and chip resistant. Well, let's give it a test. Um, so they will be going on the other side of the bolts and we'll be tightening everything up. And with a bit of luck, they'll give us enough uh, bite into the chassis of the car so that when we start trashing this thing that they don't rip out so fingers crossed kind of gonna go like that That's tight. Sure hope this bolt's going to be long enough. Yeah, I think we'll make it. Get started anyway, that's all we really need. I'm going to put this one, let it fit into that channel there. And see how that goes. pretty good uh, two in on this side one on that side get the fourth one there when I'm uh, I get under the car to get rid of those fuel lines fuel filter and other crap we need to get rid of in there anyway alrighty guys that is some of our uh, mounting bolts for our drive unit in woohoo